car is definitely growing on me. We've now had this BRZ for about roughly 18 hours or so, and I have to say, it's actually pretty good. Driving a more modern BRZ that has luxuries of blind spot, and it actually does feel quite a bit faster, having a nicer sound system, having the screen, the seats are nice. Dare I say it? The looks of it, it's growing on me a little bit. I just imagine it lowered. I imagine the right set of wheels. I imagine that the windows tinted with an exhaust out the back, uninclined headers. I don't know. I feel like it's gonna look pretty good when we're done with it. Rocking a new shirt today from the Hunt & Company Winter Drop. Right now, all orders placed from today to December 24th are gonna get entered into the 24 days of giveaways. We're giving away things from exhaust, turbos, coilovers, throttle gift cards, ACT clutches, and we're giving away cash. All you have to do to enter that giveaway is place an order from the Hunt & Company, and we're gonna be picking, I think, now 22 more winners. So a lot of you guys have a chance to win. All you have to do is place an order down below, links in the description. By the title of the video, you know we have a new set of wheels here for the BRZ, and they actually just got dropped off from the previous owner. I think a lot of you guys are expecting me to put this thing on bags, and I, I, don't, I don't think we're doing that, just not yet. I know I'm not living up to my title, the, the hype that you guys expect that of me, but I wanna see this thing on coils. I wanna see this thing kinda have the same life that the original Miley started with. Coilovers, wheels, exhaust, and to be completely honest, there's not that many parts out for this car yet. Street Hunter's working on cosmetics and aero, but as far as performance parts, nothing really exists quite yet, so we kinda have to just enjoy it as it is, which I'm perfectly okay with. One thing about this car is that it is exactly, well, not exactly, but it's pretty much the same thing as a Gen 1 BRZ. Wheels have the same fitment as the Gen 1. Coilovers are nearly the same, like companies barely had to change things. The exhaust system is nearly the same thing. So that being said, finding wheels for this car was pretty easy because all I had to do was find the perfect BRZ fitment for the Gen 1, which is 18 by 9.5 plus 38 offset. I remember it back in my head. I will always remember those specs. And your boy was able to find a set right here. I'm excited to show you what these wheels are. It's a wheel that we have on a ton of other cars, but these wheels are just so spicy. I couldn't turn it down. No, it's not Blitz 03s. I know some of you guys already saw it, said that in the comments, but it's just a classic set of TE37s. I got a good deal on these. The guy was selling them for 2,700 bucks. So I went ahead and took up the offer. This is the perfect spec. The only thing about this that we have to change is the center bore size for the hubs is a little bit too big for a BRZ. So on one of these wheels, there's actually an adapter in there and that he just left in there and the other three don't have that. So I'm gonna have to get an adapter and I have to have to measure it out, but that board's a little bit too big for a BRZ. So it's super easy. You just get a hub adapter ring and this thing will fit. But bronze on the blue, man, sure is a spicy look, but I think I have another color in mind. So we're gonna be dropping these wheels off today at a powder coat facility. And we're gonna get these things color changed and they said they would rush order it for us because they know the boys on the vlog are gonna be waiting. So they said by Monday of next week, that's three days from now, the wheels will be ready. So we're gonna get these things dropped off today. Before I drop it off there, I think we have to get the tires off. I'm gonna call the place and ask if powder coat drop would take the tires off, but I think the tires need to be off. So we have a laundry list of things to do today. Super hype on the TE37s. But we are actually gonna go drive over to Elite Finish, get an update on the Uricon, so let's head over there. Since I moved into this new house, you guys know that I've taken my cooking very seriously into a whole new level. And with today's video sponsor, ButcherBox, it makes cooking at home that much easier. I personally am a big meat fan. I eat meat almost every single night. And with ButcherBox, you can get a monthly subscription service that allows you to pick out different meats and fish that you like, and they'll ship it directly to your door. Butcher Box offers high quality meat and fish from the highest quality of sources. On their website, you can pick out what type of box of meats you want, or you can do a custom order, which is their most popular, and you can choose whatever you want, which is exactly what I did. From there, you can choose how frequently you want to send it to your house, so you're always stocked up on whatever you want. Ordering a subscription service through ButcherBox will actually save you money, comparative to going to the store and buying pieces of meat or fish one at a time. And if you want to cancel at any time, you can do so for free without any penalties. ButcherBox just makes it super easy, which is what I really, really love, just because I just don't have the time to go to the grocery store and to find the high quality stuff that I want. And if you click the links down below, you will get free bacon for life plus $100 off. So that means that every time that you get a box shipped to your house, you're gonna get a free thing of bacon thrown inside plus $100 off. Also pro tip, if you click the link and enter your email, you will also get free shipping. Thank you so much to ButcherBox for sponsoring today's video and for taking care of us with the highest quality of meats and fish. And now let's get back to today's video. Lambo 
is looking really, really good. I'm gonna have Wes show you guys something that I didn't know you guys were doing, Wes, to be honest. So you guys detailed the interior, you cleaned off the leather, and you, what are you guys gonna be adding today? So we're gonna be adding the C-Quartz leather ceramic coating. What we're doing is we're applying a coating over, I know this is gonna sound crazy, the satin clear coat that's over the leather. So putting a leather conditioner on, it's not gonna soak in the way that you would think. What we're doing is we're applying a coating to go over the top to preserve it. It's providing UV protection. It's gonna make it easier to clean. If this were like a light color and you had dark blue jeans getting in and out all the time, you start getting that blue. It wouldn't stain it? Yeah, yeah. that blue jean transfer, exactly. Yeah. So what this is gonna do is make it so that it doesn't transfer as easily. And even if it does, a little warm water on a short nap microfiber towel like this will take that right off. It also helps to slow down the, the wrinkling process for right. bolsters. So we're just gonna wipe this on. As soon as you start to notice it's drying out during application, you just apply a little bit more. And then what I like to do is first get it onto the surface, but then kind of work it in. And it may be hard to pick it up on camera, but when you look now at the difference between this black and this black, you should see a little bit of a, a darkening. You'll see when we're done with this PPF job, it will look shinier than even a fresh paint job. All this leather is all coated. It will look darker, richer, and newer you know, than, than, than prior to. Uh, so this wouldn't be a real BRZ if you couldn't fit a set of four wheels in the back of it. Oh, I didn't even know I had this. What is this? I literally, since we've picked this up, haven't even gone through any of it yet. Looks like the BRZ back seats are the same way they used to be. Pull these two tabs, push it forward. Seats are in the way. In the old BRZ, you could fit a four set of wheels. I'm wondering, we can still do that. I hope we still can. It looks like we're gonna have room because that's what makes a BRZ a BRZ is if you can really fit four wheels in here. So I'm gonna try and chuck these in the back, get this car nice and dirty off the bats, get these tires unmounted, and then we can go ahead and drop these off for powder coat. Okay, I wasn't able to fit all four of them in the back, but I got three of them in here. Then I put a blanket down on the front seat and I was able to get the fourth one in here. Considering those have 245s on them, I'm actually, I'm not disappointed. I don't think you can fit that in the first BRZ anyway, but I think when we get these tires off and we head to the powder coat shop, we'll definitely be able to keep these all in the back without tires on. Only issue is, is I probably can't get into six gear because of how close it sits to the tire. And I don't have a place for my backpack. Other than that, quick little drive to the tire shop, get these things demounted, and we're on our way. Just stopped by our local tire shop. They are just jumping straight to it, ripping those AS3s off the T37s. So we can be on our way to go get these things powder coated. Also too, the tires just showed up today as well. They're over there. We did Yokohama Advance these times. Right now they have a 245. We're jumping to a 255. So to get these to fit, it's definitely gonna be a super, super, super tight fitment. Probably gonna have to roll and pull these fenders. Successfully was able to fit all four in here here without the tires on in the back of the car. That's the BRZ that I know and appreciate. We have a 30 minute drive down to a place that said they could powder coat these over the weekend. When I was trying to find places to powder coat this, it was hard to find places that would do it literally like as quickly as possible because they know the vlog needs to see it. So they're gonna rush it for us and get it done. I'm hyped right now. I'm super excited. I really feel like I'm reliving the days back when I had Miley when I didn't really have anything else. Driving this car again and just like hearing the way the BRZ sounds, I, I don't know. It sounds kind of funky, but it's bringing back memories, just like thoughts that I haven't thought about in a super long time. Like, it sounds kind of funky, but just listening to this car with a stock exhaust and just feeling how slow it is, it reminds me of really good times. And this is really strange, but I feel like a brand new BRZ or like a beer, all BRZs like kind of smell the same. That's a very weird sentence to say out loud. I know this car is new and it has a new car smell, but I don't know, This it's just nostalgic driving a stock BRZ around. And I'm really enjoying getting the wheels again and doing the coilovers and just doing like the simple stuff that I originally did that I know you guys loved so much. I just dropped the wheels off at Swift Powder Coat here in El Cajon in San Diego. They are literally doing us a solid. I'm so hyped. They literally grabbed the wheels and put them straight into the like stripper where it starts decomposing, I guess, and just gets rid of all the material that's on it to start stripping all the color off. They said they might even be done over the weekend, like in a couple days, like being tomorrow or the next day. So big shout out to Swift. I appreciate you boys. It's always cool going to a shop and dropping some stuff off and we realized we had a bunch of mutual, mutual friends and connections and stuff. Super rad, time to head home, boys. I ended up taking a back way home where it's literally just all canyon roads the whole way. This thing is so nimble and light on its feet and with the little power boost that it got, you definitely feel it and you can use it a lot more. The car doesn't feel as gutless anymore. It's really fun to ring this car all the way out to like 7,500 RPM. Just the fast you go on these roads and you don't have aftermarket suspension this thing is just it's kind of sloppy and it just feels like you're on stilts 
So there's third gear, let's drop to second gear. This is second gear, wide open throttle. But there's something to be said about being able to use every bit of horsepower that comes with a car and you can still like really drive the heck out of it. That's what makes the BRZ fun. I think a lot of people go, in, go into this car and they're like, oh, it's just a small car that doesn't move. How could that be fun? But this thing is super nimble and super light on its feet. And when you actually lower it, get some more meat on the back, get a stiffer ride, this thing just kind of turns into another little animal. And it's a really fun car to push yourself to drive it because it's not that dangerous because it's not so fast. One interesting thing I noticed about the BRZ that is definitely a negative that I'm surprised I haven't seen anyone say anything about so far on the internet who's taken delivery of the BRZs. I haven't used this enough, so I don't know where the screwdriver is. The front license plate location on the BRZ comes pre-drilled. And they actually, it's kind of like what they did on like the 98 RX-7, the 240, like JDM front bumpers, just they have like these, you know, locations where you're supposed to mount a license plate frame. Now, as you can see, this comes fast. Factory. There's actually a metal thread insert. You can actually thread in bolts. But this distance right here, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera uh, how wide it is. This is for a Japanese license plate frame or a Japanese license plate. So your USA license plates are not that wide. So dealerships have just taken liberty and have been smoking holes into their bumpers. This is one like super, super uh, uh, easy fix that Street Hunter is actually gonna be tackling right off the bat. It's making like a little block out plate here so you can thread in a plate here and at least cover up this because every dealership is just ruining bumpers like that. So shout out to all those dealerships is smoking holes. One mob we are gonna do is get rid of this dealership plate on the back, get rid of this, toss in a Hunt Company license plate frame, which as you guys know, the link down below, anyone has a car, that doesn't have a Hunt & Co. license plate frame? Damn, what are you guys doing? Stop this video right now, pause, go to the website, pick yourself up a license plate frame. We got them in a few different colors too if they're not already sold out, but oops. What is all this crap? See ya. Okay, toss in the new plate. First mod of Aberdeen, baby. Oh, and they just drilled into this too. Lovely. Okay. Slowly but surely, we're gonna get this thing looking right. For long five days, we just got our backyard and our front yard completely turfed. This is definitely one of the largest uh, adult investments we've ever done for the house. If you guys are watching the vlog, this was like real grass and then it was like dirt back there, mulch. Just with how much these dogs pee, real grass just does not survive. So we made the investment to try to cut down on water and just clean up the yard and make it look a little bit nicer. So we turfed this whole entire thing here and we turfed the front part of the house so it so it looks clean more often we're super stoked on it, it looks fantastic we have a, it looks like we have a football field in our backyard and the dogs absolutely love it it's really cute to see them run around and just be super super happy so I have some major news to tell you guys big announcement this is one of the biggest announcements we've had on the channel in a long time we have we have crazy we have crazy news Kev do you want to tell them what the big news is you got an enlargement do you, oh, want, do you want to play this game? <laughs> what? Do you, want, do you want to play this game? What, I don't know what game. What are we playing? <laughs> do, all right, I'll, oh, I'll deliver oh, the news. Oh, because you can play games now. I'll deliver you the get news. To play games. I'll deliver the news. Let's go back to the office. Two years ago, three years ago, when we were at the, actually the, when we had the apartment and then when we got the condo, I used to play video games all the time. I used to stream all the time. Then we, moved, then we moved into this house, and this house is on a bunch of land, and it's, it's on like neighborhoods that have a bunch of houses and stuff. Like every house around us is on like a bunch of acres, and it's just like brand new, like custom built houses. We're like kind of out of where, not like the normal town is, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. So we don't have good Wi-Fi here. We actually have the world's worst Wi-Fi, and you would think, TJ, try like this company, this company, that company, that company, and just no, there's actually no coverage where we are. We're like literally like a half mile out of the coverage of 
with all like the fast Wi-Fi guys. So long story short, for the past year that we lived here, every video I've uploaded has been done at a different location than my house. Or I use the hotspot on my phone, but I burn through the hotspot on my phone like instantly. Why am I saying all this? Well, one, I ordered Starlink. Starlink is a thing from Elon Musk. It's essentially fast Wi-Fi like for everyone and like all types of areas that don't get like fast Wi-Fi. So I finally, I ordered it in February and they're like, pre-order it now and some point this year you will get your Starlink Wi-Fi. Well, I literally got the email tonight that it is shipped. So I will have incredibly fast, like 100, 200 download speeds of Wi-Fi and I will finally be able to stream on the computer again so we can get live streaming of, oh my gosh, I can actually play for the first time ever Forza and drive the Street Hunter cars. I have never played Forza at all. They're the new Forza. I can do this and we can stream on the big thing. And I'm just, I'm just so excited, man, because I used to stream with you guys all the time. Like it was at clockwork, like every day, like eight to like 11 after I finished editing, or whatever, I would stream and just hang out with you guys. And it's coming back. I'll keep you posted when we get the Starlink. I'll even install it on the vlog because it's a pretty cool thing. That was it. That was the news. I'm excited because I, I can finally use this sim rig that I built and then never got to use and then I can actually play games again and play Call of Duty and play just fun things and I'm just man I'm so excited I just fell asleep on the couch and I'm really tired so I'm gonna go to bed but before I go to bed I want to announce today's winner Peter Waring Peter Warning from Houston Texas he ordered a Twerk It Miley t-shirt you my sir have won an ACT clutch so we have emailed you shout out to you dog enjoy that new clutch on your car and I will see you guys tomorrow thank you for watching another day of Vlogmas and I'll see you guys then. Peace out and keep moving forward. Let it snow, let it snow.